Good afternoon. My name is Alina Marin and I am a PhD student at the Bucharest Academy of Economic Studies. My research paper is um, on the topic of digitalization in the fiscal system in Romania. The context of this research is um, due to the following um, factors. First of all, Romania is one of the European countries with the most important IT industry from the region and this industry is having a um, contribution to the GDP. Uh, for example, in 2021 the contribution was over 12% and is increasing year on year. Secondly, the digitalization of the services in Romania is still in early phases, even though in the private sector there has been an important progress and many of the processes and services are now digitalized and offered to the people um, and the, the people has uh, positively adopted the new technology in the public sector most of the services and processes are still executed manually they are bureaucratic and risky and inefficient and they are also not sustainable because they are using a lot of paper they are using space and utilities and this is all translated in the supplementary costs for the taxpayers. Another reason that uh, determined me to follow this research is that the Romania is uh, in the last place in Europe on the digital economy and society index classification, being one of the less digitalized countries in terms of digital public services. Nevertheless, in the in the context of COVID pandemic, the lack of digitalization um, really created difficulties in the public sector and uh, in some cases created some uh, real bottlenecks. In the same time, COVID represented a real trigger for digitalization because the public sector could manage this type of, uh, of crisis and uh, the emergency period accelerated digitalization of important services such as collecting the fiscal information from the taxpayer and online taxes payments. In the context of the next generation PNRR, uh, there has been allocated important funds for digitalization for the public sector. The objective of this research are the following. First of all, um, measuring the degree of digitalization at the national level. The second objective is to measure the degree of digitalization of the state institution whose objective is to collect fees and taxes. And nevertheless, the third objective is to identify which of the factors has influencing um, digitalization of the fiscal processes at the level of tax transaction. The research methodology is the following. First of all, um, building a synthetic index. This synthetic index will consist on several metrics for evaluating the degree of digitalization in the tax system on several layers and it, is, it will be both at national but also at the fiscal authorities level. And secondly, carrying out a quantitative analysis for the validation of the digitalization index using panel data model that will be uh, done in e-views. The qualitative analysis, as I mentioned, is to determine the index of digitalization in the public sector built on series of specific metrics. Secondly, the evaluation of the degree of digitalization of a revenue component of the state budget will be done uh, and uh, based on the clearly defined data. Secondly, the quantitative analysis will be done to validate the digitalization index by using panel data models where the dependent variable is the level of receipt, profit tax, salary, income tax, and VAT. And nevertheless, uh, we will identify the dependency relationship between the receipt and the degree of digitalization. How will I build the digitalization indexes? First of all, as I mentioned, the indica indic indicators will be done uh, at the level of fiscal authorities and the national level. The metrics that I um, selected for the 
uh, level of um, fiscal authorities uh, are the following. The number of tax returns submitted to online, the number of users, the active user on CPV or, or Gishou.ro, the number of online collection, the number of transactions made on Gishou.ro, uh, electronic registration in one-stop shop, uh, uh, users of the self-services uh, and so on. The metrics that I will use for the national level are the following. Household with uh, internet, household with the PC, number of mobile user, number of card user, or number of electronic payments. Each of these uh, metrics will be allocated a weight. And based on this weight, we will build a synthetic index to reflect the digitalization degree. How will I test the uh, uh, indexes in view? Each resulting aggregated index will be tested in a panel data model, so as the result uh, will be a coefficient of the index impact in the collection volume. The dependent variable are the following, tax on profit, wages, income and capital gains, taxes and property taxes, and taxes and taxes on goods and services. The quantitative study uh, is aiming, as I mentioned, to validate this digitalization index by using panel data models in which dependent variable is the level of receipt and the results of the study will confirm the influence of digital processes in the level of collection at the state level. At the national level, according to the provision of the BNR regulation, uh, the BNR collects statistical data on cards with a car, uh, quarterly frequency. Uh, there are also uh, an important source of information, the NF annual performance report and the budget execution reports uh, from Ministry of Finance. Another database that I will consult is the uh, ECB collected from the European Member States statistical data on payments with uh, an annual frequency based on the provision of regulation and uh, the European Central Bank uh, since November 2013 on payment statistic. The research question. This paper is part of a uh, final thesis of uh, PhD uh, that is called Digitalization of the Fiscal System in Romania and the aim of this thesis is to demonstrate the following hypothesis. The null hypothesis is that there is no direct correlation between the digitalization of the processes in the fiscal system and the tax collection to the state budget. The first hypothesis is there is a direct correlation between the digitalization of the processes in the fiscal system and the tax collection to the state budget, and the increase of the services digitalized will lead to an increase of the amount of tax collected. The second hypothesis is there is a direct correlation between the digitalization of the processes in the fiscal system and the tax collection to the state budget and an increase of the fiscal uh, digitalized system will lead to a decrease to the tax evasion, therefore there is uh, an increase of the tax collected. The findings and conclusion um, that I uh, managed to collect until now are the following. Part of the paper research was on online survey regarding the digitalization services that uh, the Romanian authorities implemented for the taxpayer until now, which is uh, CPV, Spatio Virtual Privat, and ANA, from ANAF and electronic invoices, and of course, Gisheu.ro. 82% of the respondents had, has accessed the Gisheu.ro site. 73.7% of the responses mentioned that use CPV platform. 7% has accessed the platform just for finding useful information. 36% of the responses that use the CPV platform mentioned that found the platform very useful and 70% of the responses accessed the platform for reporting the fiscal system on, uh, statement online. These important uh, numbers uh, reflect that the uh, population is ready to adopt technology and uh, they are uh, trying it and they are using it. Most of them, they are using it for simple operation. Uh, nevertheless, 82% of the respondents have received notification regarding the fiscal information and have received notification in this regard. This is also mentioning that the state authorities has made made a lot of progress in communicating with the taxpayers and promoting these digitalizing services. 
Until now, there is an important degree of adoption of the digitalization of the online fiscal systems in Romania, and taxpayers are starting to use the platform to interact with the authorities. There is still a lot of reticence uh, regarding access to the assistant channels of the authorities like chat or phone. According to an off performance report, in 2020, 4.4 million tax statements were filled online and uh, at enough, and in 2021, 1.1 million invoices were issued electronically and 31 million payments made, were made through the CPV platform. Numbers of users is increasing. The authorities are making investment in digitalization. In 2021, the degree of fiscal statement online was on, uh, on the percent of 90.3 percent, and in 2018, there uh, versus 2018, and therefore we can conclude that the Romanian population is gradually adopting this technology while learning about it. When I started study, first of all, I started by looking what the others have been studying and I reviewed the literature uh, and I searched for study that have been done on uh, this topic. Uh, what I have found um, and I consider relevant for this paper is um, the following papers. Um, first of all, there is a paper called, uh, called Measuring the Effect of Digitalization from 2020 that is done by a um, uh, professor from uh, uh, Estonian University. Um, and uh, the paper proposed a qualitative analysis for the construction of the digitalized uh, digitalization index based on a series of metrics. The article also proposed a quantitative analysis that measured the influence of the degree of digitalization on the dependent variable, the GDP. Another study is done by McKinsey in 2020 and is called Reimagining Tax Authorities for the Future. McKinsey mentioned about, uh, in the article, McKinsey mentioned about the work of the tax authorities uh, to intensify uh, the digital environment, especially what means to collect uh, tax information. And the, another study is uh, Digital Services Tax, a cross-border variation of consumption tax debate uh, from 2019. The digitalization of the business, companies like Google and Amazon, had put under pressure also the traditional tax rules and profit allocation, as mentioned, uh, the authors in the paper. The author has identified that because of the digital economy, the profits can be easily generated in countries without physical presence. This is imposing a new tax called Digital Service Tax, DTS, apply on digital business model. The authors challenge that DTS can be a good solution for taxation of the digital economy. Until now, the status of my research paper is the following. First of all, um, the um, hypotheses were defined. The literature reviewing is still ongoing and the data collection also is ongoing. Um, what I plan to do in the following period is to finalize the establishment of the indicators and subsequent data uh, and uh, to measure metrics of the construction of the digitalization in things until December this year and starting uh, uh, with next year to apply data panel models and finalize this until June 2024. Thank you very much for uh, listening uh, my presentation and I wish you a very nice day ahead.